What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little sit down video, something a bit different from a vlog, but it is still gonna be very casual. Today I'm sitting in the beginning of my office, closet, uh, makeup, room. It's really in the early stages right now, so things will kind of shift around, but for now I have like my clothing rack here. My little mannequin is back here, if you're wondering who this friend is. She looks kind of creepy because she has a hat on and no head so just don't mind her all right she's just doing her thing back there today's video is going to be answering a question that i get so much from you guys which is do i have a job outside of youtube and how do i like make my money outside of youtube um so just to like start off the conversation yes if you didn't know which probably like 99 percent of you guys do know i make money from making youtube videos from the ads on my videos and pretty much every youtuber you watch has ads on their videos that create revenue for them and then an additional way to make income on youtube is working with brands if i have a brand sponsor a video which is something that's really not that common for me every few months I might do a sponsorship but it's not gonna be something that's like every video or every other video by any means and that's the way I make money off of YouTube which is kind of like my primary source of income now you guys know I do not work a nine-to-five I do not go into a job every day however I do have other work and other jobs I guess you could kind of call them jobs I'm just gonna call it work or other sources of income besides youtube there's probably three main ways besides youtube that i make my money and this is just me personally the first way is working with brands on things like maybe an instagram or twitter like social media posts for a brand so occasionally honestly very rarely i might work with a brand on an instagram story or an instagram post that they sponsored um, incorporating a product or whatever it is and that's pretty rare for me too that's not something that you're going to see a lot on my instagram but it is something that i do occasionally when i work with a brand in that way and another way is affiliate linking and affiliate marketing this is something again that probably so many of your favorite youtubers and content creators utilize affiliate linking as bloggers use them all the time there's so many sites that you can use to link people to products and then since you're linking through your personal work your video your blog whatever it is you will make a little little bit it's usually not very much at all it's like a little bit of commission from people clicking those links if they make a purchase and then um, the last two ways I make money outside of YouTube are from selling merchandise so there's two branches of that either selling merchandise that I have created and designed for you guys you guys know I have done hoodies and I'm actually in the process right now of finishing up my next merch i don't really know if I, I mean it's merch but i kind of just want to call it like what the products are but i don't want to spoil it yet i'm in the process of my second merch drop and there is two products this time and um i'm really really excited about it it's going to be a lot more options than the hoodies i don't have my merch released all the time so just when i decide to release it or have a limited edition period of the merch that's you know when i would make that extra money and then lastly selling merchandise also branches into selling on depop which is a huge huge source of my extra time my extra work and my extra income my depop shop is probably the thing that i spend the most time on sometimes more time on it than youtube but when i'm really really into selling on there because it is very time consuming but at the same time it's something that I really enjoy doing I like packaging up the orders and shipping them out to you guys in a timely manner and kind of trying to challenge myself to be the best little Depop shop owner that I can be I always include a free gift like a free full-size beauty product in all of my orders if you guys have ordered from me in the past you know that and I typically ship out the next day after ordering priority mail so my order ship out in two to three days to you guys and i wanted to talk about that today because i get so many questions from you guys about how to sell on depop how to ship like how do i ship my stuff how do i make money from this um all my kind of top tips from doing it and let me tell you like i've been doing depop for i guess like a year and a half since 2016 and it really took a lot of time to figure out what worked for me and what worked for my shop i'll try to keep this video as brief as i can but honestly it might be a little bit lengthy just because i'm one of those people that wants to know all the details if you guys have clothes shoes 
accessories, art, there's literally so many things, makeup, um, that are in gently used condition. If you have any of that stuff around or you're the type of person like me that gets rid of their clothes a lot, you just kind of get sick of your stuff after a while. Um, you could benefit from selling your stuff on a platform such as Depop. Now, I'm gonna say Depop a lot in this video. Um, I want you guys to know two things. The first thing is that Depop is not sponsoring me. They do not know I'm making this video. We honestly have no affiliation. We've never worked together. That would be incredible, honestly. Um, but Depop is not sponsoring this by any means. And the second thing I want you guys to know is that Depop is just the app and the selling platform that I choose to use right now for my stuff. That doesn't mean that I won't change in the future to maybe sell on a different platform. That doesn't mean that this is the only one that I think you should use. There are several apps and also websites that you can sell your gently used clothing and accessories and everything I talked about on. I would say the biggest two are Poshmark and Depop. I personally don't have experience with selling on Poshmark. I've bought one thing from there before, but I've never sold on their app, so I do not have personal experience. But you, if you guys are interested in doing this, I would just suggest doing a little bit of research, um, checking out a couple different apps. There's one called Let Go, there's Mercari, um, there's Vinted, there's so many. So I would personally recommend Depop the most. That is the one that I use, and the top reasons that I love Depop are because it looks exactly like Instagram. The format when you scroll through looks like Instagram if you will download the app. It's a free app, so no harm in downloading it and checking it out. If you download it and scroll through, you'll see it just looks exactly like Instagram. You can swipe to look at additional photos, but it's a very easy app to use. And I also like Depop because they only take 10% of the profit from your listings now that is something that is gonna happen if you're selling your stuff you know on a platform they are going to take a little bit of the proceeds from that from letting you use their platform letting you use their app especially if it's a free app you know what i mean so um in my opinion from what i've seen depop takes the littlest bit there might be some that actually take zero percent but i Personally, I'm not aware of them. I've already been talking for 10 minutes and I haven't even really got into like most things that I want to talk about. So um, I'm not gonna really talk about setting up your shop. It's pretty simple. Like I said, the format is like Instagram. All you really need to do to get going on something like this is decide, you know, the items that you're gonna list. And definitely don't think that this is gonna be an overnight thing. Obviously, you're gonna start from nothing. You're gonna start from zero followers, but just know that so many people that make it, make it on like Depop and have a big shop or Poshmark or whatever it is, they started with nothing too, and it's just about being consistent, having good photos, having good products, don't sell anything that you wouldn't want to get in the mail yourself. When I'm deciding, am I going to sell this or am I going to donate this? I want to, I think, would I want to get this in the mail and would I be happy with this if I paid money for this? Definitely don't sell anything that is not in decent condition. I'm not saying don't sell things that are, are imperfect because I sell a lot of things that maybe I've thrifted and they have some mishaps and I'll always make the buyer aware of that in the description. Just make sure people know what they're getting. If the item has pilling or if the item uh, is just like really wrinkly, make sure you know your buyer knows this is how it's gonna arrive. I think I've had total maybe like three or four returns in my year and a half of selling on Depop. So um, I think the biggest thing to talk about is pricing your items and then shipping out your items because that is the most confusing part. So we'll talk about that after this shipping, what shipping method you're gonna use, how to price it, all that stuff. I will break it down for you guys because I'm telling you that was the most confusing part for me. So talking about pricing your items, uh, also taking photos for your items. I guess just for photos, I like to try it on most of the time. If the item doesn't fit me, I'm not gonna try it on. It's gonna look bad. So take good photos. Depop lets you put four photos. Make sure you take some good photos with good lighting. You can take them outside, you can take them inside. I typically take mine myself, just a little mirror picture with my iPhone because that's the quickest for me. And typically when I'm taking my photos, I'm 
taking a lot of photos and listing a lot of different items so I don't want to have like a whole photo shoot but it's just personal how good do you want your photos to look and definitely if you want your shop to stand out you're gonna need to have good photos because no one's gonna buy something that just doesn't even look cute in a photo um, so I highly recommend trying it on if it's a clothing item and I highly recommend putting a bunch of good photos Make sure in your description you are letting your buyer know everything they need to know about the item. Um, you can, like I said, you can sell makeup. Um, definitely just make sure, again, that it is very gently used. I wouldn't sell something that I wouldn't want to receive myself. So if it's a gently used makeup product, make sure that you clean it off. Make sure you clean off, you know, the applicator or whatever it is. Don't sell any lip products that have been used. That is sketchy. Typically, I will sell new makeup products or I will sell something that I've used one or two times um, and it's still in like very nice condition if I'm gonna sell a makeup product because that's you know getting into like germs and people not trusting you with stuff like that so that's where it gets a little bit more weird be open with your buyers um, obviously and then as for pricing your items list the item at a price that you would pay for it it just depends on what the item is it depends on how much you paid for it it depends on what the condition of it is now um, typically I will list something at the price point that I want to receive for it so maybe if I'm listing a shirt I'm like okay I'm gonna sell this for I'm gonna list it for $20 now typically that item will sell in the next few days um, if that item doesn't sell then I might think to myself okay I probably priced it a little bit too high and it's not worth $20 so then I might lower the price a little bit $17 $15 it just depends so I will typically list my items at a price that I think is fair and then you know if they don't sell then I'll lower my price a little bit now let's talk about shipping Woo! Right. these are gonna be your best friends some tape and some USPS priority mail packaging basics for shipping there's two options that you can do it on depop you can either choose to ship through usps now okay guys i'm going to be talking about the u.s right now because i live in the u.s i only know shipping from the u.s so if you're watching from another country you obviously know what shipping packages is like in your country there's probably something like usps in your country when you're listing an item you're either going to choose ship with usps and that's going to ask you for like the weight of the item if it's you know a shirt or if it's a pair of shoes or if it's something very heavy you're going to need a put in what that correct amount is and then USPS is gonna kind of like generate you a label and you're gonna have to have a printer access accessible to be able to print that label out. Um, or you can choose the option, do my own shipping. It's something like that, it's like ship my own way. It's like my own shipping, okay? I can't think of the exact wording right now. But that is what I usually do and typically my shipping, again, like I said, I ship out most of my orders priority mail. So I charge typically around six to $10 on average for my shipping. Most of my orders fit in an envelope like this. It really doesn't look big, but you can fit you can fit most things in here. You can fit a shirt, you can fit a pair of pants, you can fit a jacket. So I have three different envelope types. It doesn't matter what the weight of the item is. You don't have to weigh them, which is why I prefer to do the priority mail. Also, like I said, it ships in two to three days. So that is gonna be about $6, $7. I charge my buyers $6.50 right now, and that might seem a little bit pricey. That's definitely nothing crazy for shipping, but obviously if you buy one thing that's maybe $10 and you're thinking, is this really worth $6.50 for it to ship? The only reason that I have to do that, like I said, is because I choose to ship priority mail and you're gonna get your order in two to three days. Versus you can choose to do first class mail, which is like basic, mail the cheapest option for the weight of your package and that is typically going to take about a week sometimes more 
Um, so I just personally don't think that it's worth it for my buyers to wait seven or eight days for their item and save like $2. Um, I personally think it's just a lot better of a business, a business model to get your order faster and you already know you're paying that shipping up front. It's not, it's not a surprise and you're going to get your item very quickly. Like if I shipped this out today, today's Tuesday, my buyer would probably get it by Friday. They would maybe even get it on Thursday if they didn't live too, too far away. So I choose to only ship in the US for most of my items because it is very expensive for me to ship outside of the US and it's also you have to go to the post office and fill out a bunch of extra paperwork to ship internationally. So that's gonna be something that's just up to you if you wanna ship international, but I would recommend when you're first starting out just shipping in your country and seeing how that goes for you. And then you can always ship international if you don't mind. So I'll usually only do that if I'm selling an expensive item and the person really wants to buy it and that they agree to pay the extra shipping, then I may ship internationally. I know it's kind of annoying, um, but you know, I'm not a professional company. I'm not like a big company. I'm just one girl <laughs> that does this from literally my house, from my room, and I'm not gonna pack up a bunch of orders and do all that paperwork and spend all that extra money on international shipping. So let's talk about these again. You can go to USPS.com, baby, and guess what? You can order all of these supplies for free. Yes, for free, as much as you want, pretty much. And they will come to your door. What the heck? Free shipping supplies. I'm not even kidding. You don't have to pay for shipping. You don't have to pay a tax. You literally get all of these for zero dollars, whatever you want, and it just shows up at your door. So, like I said, I typically... <laughs> would do these envelopes. The one I would most highly recommend to you guys if you're gonna be shipping out things that are, you know, tiny clothing items is this one, which is the padded flat rate envelope. This one's a little bit bigger. It's gonna fit a little bit more stuff. I will use this one if my item doesn't fit in the padded one. I like the padded one because it gives it a little bit of bubble wrap on the inside if you have something that's um, a little bit fragile, but if you're shipping stuff that's fragile, make sure you wrap it up. This is not gonna be enough because um, that you never know how your package is gonna get treated once it leaves, so make sure you're packaging your things up well. This is another one of the envelopes. This is just, I think, the letter envelope or the legal envelope. It's pretty tiny. This will fit like a t-shirt. This will, this will fit small makeup products, so I'll use this for my small items. Um, and then you can also choose these priority mail boxes. You can get boxes as well shipped to you for free. They have a small one. I think they have two different medium ones. This is obviously unfolded um, and you're gonna fold this down and fold this down. So this one really isn't that big. This is probably what I would ship a pair of shoes in because it's like a nice rectangular shoe box type of a thing. Um, and you can also order ones that are bigger than this. You can get small, medium, and large ones. Again, you can literally get like as many as you want in increments, I think, of I think like 10 or 15. Oh my God, I'm dropping them. And then this is not free, but you're just gonna need some tape, some shipping tape. You can order this in bulk on Amazon if you're gonna be shipping out a lot of packages, but just start off with like one or two rolls. Um, that's obviously a basic. And I will have the link in the description box to the USPS website with the free shipping supplies that I personally get. I'll have that link down below in case you guys wanna order some. I highly recommend. Um, you don't have to. If you don't wanna send your orders priority mail and you wanna send them first class and you wanna send them for a little bit cheaper, I would recommend using something as small as possible because with, with first class mail, anything except priority mail, it's based on weight of the item. So it's gonna be more expensive to ship it based on how far it's going that's a thing too and then how much the item weighs so I would recommend shipping in like poly mailers you can look if you don't know what a poly mailer is it's a very very thin like big envelope that you would get a small order in um, you can look them up on Amazon like a pack of poly mailers I would recommend those typically avoid boxes unless you have to send the item in a box if it's like fragile or breakable because boxes are going to weigh more and be more expensive and they're just bigger 
they're harder to send out if it's bigger. All right, I'm hoping this is kind of focusing. It's just trying to focus on my face. But this is an example of a label. I'm covering up the addresses right now. But this is a priority mail label that I have printed out. If you have a printer available to you, that's probably going to be your best bet. Um, you can print them directly from the Depop app if you do the ship with USPS. Or what I like to do is print them from PayPal. So everyone's going to pay you using PayPal. It's going to go straight to your PayPal account. So you need to have a PayPal account if you're going to be selling on Depop. So definitely go ahead and make one. It's free to make one. And I love PayPal. Honestly, it's so easy to track everything. And you can print shipping labels from paypal.com. So go on your computer. You can see when people have ordered and then you can print their label directly. So I highly recommend using a printer. It's going to be the easiest and the most time efficient. But I also, before I had a printer, when I don't have a printer accessible, I use these labels and these you write on. These are also free shipping supplies that you can order a bunch of these on the free shipping supplies link down below. So you can put this right on there. You don't need a printer, but if you use something like this, you need to go to the post office and get postage for your item because this label already has postage. It's paid for. Um, I know this might seem so confusing. I'm sorry if this is confusing. The printed out labels you have to buy. You have to pay for them yourself. So obviously you're gonna charge your buyer for their shipping and then when you go to pay for it, it's gonna be about the same. It might be a dollar or two more or a dollar or two less. Make sure, like I said, you're charging your buyer something fair for shipping. I recommend at least $5 unless you're um, shipping first class mail, which I said is gonna be the cheapest option. Last thing I wanna talk about, which is something I just um, discovered this week and has made my life easier is you can also schedule a pickup of your items so that you don't have to go to the post office. Um, typically I was running to the post office for Depop probably like three times a week I would be hitting up the post office if I'm really selling a bunch of stuff on Depop because like I said I want people to get their orders fast so I'm not gonna keep an order in my house for five days before sending it out unless I'm on a vacation or something then I have to wait until I get back to send it out. But I'll always let the person know if that's gonna be the case. Um, so if you wanna avoid going to the post office altogether, you're gonna need a printer, like I said, to print your labels, tape them to your thing, make sure they have postage. Then you can schedule a free pickup during your mail window. I know you can't do this at like every address. I have to send them out from my boyfriend's house. If your mail person comes with a truck or a car, which I think that's pretty typical, you can schedule a free pickup of your items. You can leave them on your front porch. You can leave them next to your front door, your back door, whatever it is. You can specify when you're scheduling the pickup. And I will have a link to that in the description box as well. It's also on the USPS website and it is free. So you don't even have to go to the post office which is nice. If you live really close to one, it's probably gonna be convenient, but it saves me so much time not having to go to the post office to get that postage. That's basically it. This is a process. This is something that you have to, um, if you're gonna do it, you gotta commit and you gotta figure out what works for you. This was such a long video. It was honestly probably a bit boring. Um, if you watch this and you don't even like sell on sell on Depop or anything, like I hope you got some enjoyment out of this. This is basically, one of my extra sources of income. Also, definitely donate your stuff that's not in good enough condition to sell. If it's something that's worth five or ten dollars, it's probably not worth it. But if you have, you know, good things that are in good condition, this might be something that is fun for you and it might be a good way for you to make a little bit of extra money. It's not something that happens overnight. You're not gonna get your following overnight. It's gonna be something that you're gonna have to probably use hashtags and you're gonna have to wait a little bit and be patient. It's almost like starting a baby Etsy shop. It's kind of like that. So obviously you're gonna have to be patient to get buyers and to get eyes onto your shop. I hope this was helpful. This was such a long video, so I'm gonna go. Um, I'll have my Depop linked in the description box. I pretty much always have it as a link in my description if you ever want to know what I'm selling. So make sure you are following my Depop if you're interested in anything that I wear. Thank you guys very much for watching and listening. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Thank you guys very much for watching. I love you.